Conference bike. Ever wanted to hold a business meeting while sitting on the same bike with your colleagues? If you ever had such a weird idea, Conference Bike is a great way to make it happen. It's a seven-seater vehicle that moves forward as the passenger's pedal. Essentially, it's a bicycle with riders seated in a circle and one person steering. Conference Bike can easily handle a weight of 1,500 pounds without any issues, even though the bike itself weighs approximately 440 pounds. Yes, this is not the case when you can just fold up and stow the bike in the trunk. The manufacturer claims that the maximum speed the conference bike can accelerate to is about 9 miles per hour. These bikes are designed to be used for tourism or team building activities in corporations and university campuses. Google, for instance, has incorporated nine of these bikes into their operations. In most countries, it has the same legal status as a regular bicycle, although it looks quite weird. So far, there are more than 300 such bikes in 18 countries. Big Wheel Drifter Drift trikes are specialized three-wheeled bicycles with rear wheels that feature a low-grip surface made of hard plastic, usually PVC. They are purpose-built for the thrilling sport of bicycle drifting. Wait, drifting on bicycles? Yep, it's possible. The origins of drift trikes go back to California, USA, where an enthusiast, Marty Spellman, built the first trike. Today, other people are making these unusual three-wheeled bikes, and the number of models is constantly increasing. For example, SFD Industries, an auto parts company, produces its own drift trikes. It's worth noting that drift trikes are equipped with small motors. They usually generate about six horsepower or so. Not much, but enough for drifting. Actually, drifting trikes are a lot more popular than they may seem at first glance. In Season 5 of the American TV show Counting Cars, they made several custom models of a trike. The only thing that's just as cool as these models is the custom mini trike made by the guys from the Garage Vlog. No, seriously, look at that. It's tiny, and yet it's ready to ride. It can carry an adult person. Walt Moss's Diesel Trike Walt Moss Motorcycle Trike is perhaps one of the most unique diesel-powered mashups. It's powered by a 3208 Caterpillar diesel twin-turbo power plant made into a six-speed Allison transmission. The radiator is located behind the two-seat passenger seat. The unique feature of the trike is the rear canopy, which is actually the hood from a Kenworth semi-truck that's been flipped and modified. It took nine months to create the unique vehicle, but the result is definitely worth the time spent. J-Rack Customs Electric Bike J-Rack Customs calls their products old-school builds with functional technology. They create fully customized electric bikes limited only by the customer's imagination. Frames, wheels, lighting, all these things are customized, but the general characteristics of the bikes remain the same. The electric bike has a maximum speed of 30 miles per hour and can travel between 10 to 30 miles on a single charge, depending on the speed you maintain. It takes about four hours to charge. So far, the company's already created more than 50 electric bicycles without repeating the same design twice. GL1800 Type S and this is the newest member of the Gordon GL1800 trike series, and it's indeed undergone serious changes. In addition to a complete redesign of the body, finished in carbon fiber instead of fiberglass, the substructure has also been enhanced. Instead of steel, it uses lightweight aluminum components. Type S is called the pinnacle of the Gordon trike lineup, and that's why it's popular with customers who've already bought other models. You know that feeling where you kind of already have a trike, but you want something a little more exclusive? In addition to better design, design and performance, Gordon offers unique customization of each individual trike as well as attention to every detail. The trike is based on the popular Honda Goldwing GL1800 motorcycle and for good reason. Its stability combined with an elegant design and good handling make the motorcycle the perfect match for a specially designed multi-link independent rear suspension. It's height adjustable, by the way. Combined with a special transmission and braking system, owners can experience, in the manufacturer's words, the full extent of the platform's capabilities.
It all looks very unusual, but in fact the idea is not new. The Italian inventor Francois Norek already came up with a similar concept, but in a slightly different variation. Gordon tricycles are essentially motorcycles with a sidecar. Although the sidecar is positioned not like the standard configuration, Francois Norek created a 1976 Laverta motorcycle with a sidecar that was custom built with parts from various cars, including a Volkswagen Golf GTI, Audi 80, and Citroën Xantia. Yike Bike Yes, it's a bike, it's small, fully electric, and it's also foldable. Is it comfortable to ride it? I guess everyone needs to try and see for themselves, because the reviews are contradictory. So far, the bike's available in two models, Model C and Model V. What the models have in common is that they both reach a maximum speed of 14 miles per hour, use regenerative braking, and their handlebars, which seem to hug the rider from behind, are equipped with LEDs. The rider sits in the saddle above the front wheel. The maximum allowable height for the rider is 6 feet and the weight limit is 220 pounds. Both models have wheel of the same size. The front wheel has a diameter of 20 inches and the rear wheel 8 inches. Both models take 1.5 hours to charge. The lithium-ion battery capacity is 313 watts per hour. So what are the differences between the models? First, it's the color schemes. Model C offers more as it's a premium product. And second, the number of wheels is different, and therefore the weight. The C model moves on two wheels, so it's lighter than the V model. In addition, they're made of aluminum and carbon fiber, respectively. Ono. Oh, Berlin based company Ono Motion aims to revolutionize urban mobility. To achieve this goal, the startup focuses on urban planning and transportation in an environmentally friendly and cost effective way. Their first product, Ono e Cargo Bike, combines the flexibility of an electric scooter with the power and durability of a delivery truck. Ono is designed to transport a wide range of items from groceries to large pieces of furniture. The unique design of the driver's cab provides reliable protection from rain and wind all year round. Unlike any open cargo bike, Ono ensures that the driver feels comfortable. The container module offers a space of 71 cubic feet and can be flexibly and safely replaced with a built-in ramp. The 1.4 kilowatt-hour battery can be replaced in seconds and provides a range of up to 19 miles. What's more, you don't even need a driver's license to ride Ono. And it's good for the environment. Party bike. If you looked at conference bike from early in the video and thought it was a great idea, but it could use more seats, check out an even cooler option, the party bike. It was invented in 1997 by a company from the Netherlands and is still popular around the world. Party bike is powered by passengers and control and braking are handled by the driver who doesn't pedal. Such multi-passenger bikes are often used for corporate parties as well as bachelor and bachelorette parties. They can also be found at tourist attractions where they're rented for an hour or a day. Such a bike can even serve as a rolling refreshment stand. Party bikes usually have open seats for eight or more passengers. Each seat comes with regular bicycle pedals. Some manufacturers offer an electric motor to help cyclists on hilly terrain. Since they're driven on municipal streets, some of these bikes are equipped with headlights, taillights, and turn signals, as well as lighting for use at night. If you think about it, pedal transportation can really do the world a lot of good, but not just as a shared leisure activity, although that's cool in its own way too. In Guatemala, bicycles are used to make various tools. You can use them to shell nuts, power mixers, and even wash clothes. And it's a great option for an area where electricity is too expensive or intermittent. Sma Circle S1 Folding bikes are not exactly something new, but every year people find increasingly more new ways to fold their bikes in an even more compact way. Thanks to its folding design, the electric bike dubbed Sma Circle S1 is so small that it can fit even in a backpack. The bike is folded in five simple steps. It has a speed of up to 12 miles per hour and can ride about 12 miles on a single charge. Thanks to its lightweight and sturdy carbon fiber design, the mobile transport is compact. Despite its small size, Sma Circle S1 has a maximum weight capacity of 220 pounds. Sma Circle S1 electric bike features not only a folding system, but also a mobile app for 
iOS and Android. It lets you lock and unlock the bike, monitor battery use, adjust speed and change settings. However, companion apps have become an integral part of almost every modern invention. Smart Circle S1 features a robust motor and a sturdy, thick anti-slip rubber that enables you to effortlessly ride on bumpy terrain and climb hills with inclines up to 12%. The bike is also water resistant, so it's safe to ride in rainy weather. Hydrofoiler. How about cycling on water? No magic, it's just that Manta 5 makes bikes that ride on hydrofoils. XE1 is marketed as the world's first watercraft of its type, providing its owner with up to four hours of water adventures. With a maximum speed of 13 miles per hour, however, it's crucial to maintain a minimum speed of 5.6 miles per hour to stay afloat, as going slower may lead to submerging. The total weight of XE1 is 68 pounds, plus the weight of a rider. Well, you have to keep moving all the time. SL3 is a recent model known for its variable speed, which is influenced by factors such as riding conditions, rider weight, and skill level. It can reach a maximum speed of 13 miles per hour, while the minimum required speed is 4 miles per hour. Depending on the battery, both of which are lithium ion, the hydrofoiler can last from 3 to 5 hours without recharging. The motor has a power output of 2500 watts. Through the built in LCD display, you can control all the necessary parameters right during the ride. It's worth noting that the hydrofoiler works in two modes. In the Swiss Alps, a similar design is utilized for rolling on snowy terrain instead of pedaling on lakes. Despite its seemingly unsafe and uncomfortable appearance, this bike sled is rooted in tradition and continues to be used even today. Cabrio Velo. A bicycle car with a foldable roof? Well, who could ever think of such a thing? The concept originated from the desire to develop a pedal-powered vehicle suitable for both chilly regions and popular tourist destinations, regardless of the climate. Cabriovelo weighs 99 pounds. At one point, there were plans to produce a carbon fiber version, but it's unlikely it would have been much lighter. Along with a folding roof and sides, the pedal vehicle has a full lighting system and a 53-gallon rear cab. There's an option to install a child seat. The optional 250-watt motor is located on the front wheel and is powered by a lithium battery. In order to get the rear wheels moving, you'll need to pedal. After all, Cabrio Velo is a bicycle, meaning you can't just sit in it without doing anything. The maximum distance you can cover without any brakes is 62 miles. There's no information on whether the battery can be charged directly while riding, for example from solar power or by pedaling, although this would be a nice bonus. Also, you can customize Cabrio Velo with features like front window wipers, a joystick, and loop wheels rear wheels. All additional options are available on request. However, there's one catch. Although the crowdfunding company was launched in 2016, it appears that it didn't progress beyond that point. Anyway, there are no available retail stores where you can purchase Cabrio Velo. MP3 you may have seen this strange-looking vehicle before. MP3 is a three-wheeled scooter from Italian manufacturer Piaggio. First introduced to the market in 2006, it features a combination of two front wheels and one rear wheel. Sounds familiar? Thanks to its three-wheeled configuration, MP3 can stop and park anywhere, even on an inclined surface. When moving at low speed or stopping, the cyclist maintains his balance by keeping forward or putting his feet on the ground. The front suspension is locked or unlocked with a switch. Ever since Piaggio introduced the first three-wheeled scooter to the world, it's continued to refine its creations. MP3 lineup is evolving, with new models equipped with elements from the automotive world such as a blind spot information system designed to increase comfort and safety. The vehicle features a complete LED lighting system with a particular focus on the front LEDs. Additionally, it's equipped with a rear view camera and reverse gear functionality, allowing for effortless parking maneuvers. The LED lighting ensures excellent visibility in various driving conditions. Moreover, the keyless entry system enables quick and convenient vehicle startup. Well, the full-color display is the largest in the three-wheel category. The new Piaggio MP3 scooter lineup, with its high-performance Euro 5 engine, modern design, and B-license compatibility, promises to change urban mobility once again.
Duo bike. Chances are, when hearing the words four wheeled bike, you imagine something small and for kids. But this vehicle's something else. Although it does have four wheels, this bike is not only capable of moving around, but also maintains excellent maneuverability. It can effortlessly tilt sideways without tipping over and smoothly navigate corners. Duo Bike is a single seat equipped with a classic bicycle seat with the addition of a padded backrest and classic pedals. Actually, it looks like a standard bike that started replicating itself, but at some point suddenly decided to stop. And you know, in fact, any trike or bike shown in this video can turn from a means of transportation into a work of art. Don't believe it? Then check out what Rocky Bayan, the artist from South Korea, can do. He can find a balance point in anything. Rocks, furniture, even motorcycles. This is how his magnificent sculptures are born, which seem to defy gravity, all thanks to a knowledge of physics and a zen-like approach to work. At least that's what the artist himself says.